Many Syrians have waited nine years for this moment. Syrian regime positions in and around Idlib are now being targeted with the full force of the Turkish military. Inside Syria, people took to the streets to celebrate. Our message is that we are very happy that Turkey has come to stop the bloodshed and repel the criminal gangs of Assad, who have even bombed the camps in the last few days. On the other side of the border in Hatay, Syrian refugees living in Turkey arrived to cross back to rejoin the fight. The regime displaced many residents from the areas it captured recently. We have fled the aerial bombardment. Now we are going to fight and we are fighting for a purpose and Turkey is supporting us. If the Russian planes stop, the regime can no longer advance even one foot. Turkey's Operation Spring Shield's stated aim is to protect the civilians in Idlib. Fleeing the regime's recent, ever nearing offensive, people have been taking shelter wherever they can, among Idlib's olive groves, in underground shelters. Even in this graveyard, the building providing much needed cover. More than three million people are estimated to live in the province, almost half of them children. I'm here at the Turkey-Syria border and behind me in the distance there you can see that white border wall and behind that I can see the blue and white tents of displaced Syrians scattered all across the mountains. Now in the last three months alone nearly a million more Syrians were internally displaced inside Idlib and many of them ended up there right at the border. With no place left to run, Syrians in these overcrowded camps have been caught in an increasingly desperate situation. Conditions are extremely bad. It is catastrophic here. Children are without schools, no basics to live at all. We are living in a catastrophe here. Throughout the course of the war, IHH, a humanitarian aid agency in Turkey, had been providing much-needed help to those in Syria. This bakery in Hatay makes bread that is then taken and distributed inside Syria. Over the last few months, IHH have also been building additional shelters after the huge influx of displaced Syrians. <coughs> It's given much needed warmth and cover for some. The situation in the camps in Idlib is really desperate. With the recent migration wave, we've been delivering emergency food packs and providing and setting up tents, delivering emergency materials from hygiene packs to winter clothes, heaters and coal. We will continue working for these people. Though the situation for the people taking refuge along the border remains desperate, with the Syrian regime being pushed back further each day, for now at least, that imminent threat of attack is being reduced. Sarah Firth, Straight Talk.